Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is material, the per instance random node. Well, here we can see our per instance random node, and it's very simple. It has no input. It only has an output, and the output's going to be a float or a scalar or a single value between 0 and 1. And we can use this to randomize data inside of our material when it's on an instance. Now, this is not a material instance. This is an instanced item. If we go into our map, we can see we have our foliage. If we click on it, we can see these are instanced foliage actors. And they are each comprised of a copy, and each one has a material and a static mesh. But if we were to go in and change a parameter, let's say on the material, it's going to change that parameter for all of them, which is great if we want to make them all look the same, maybe change colors or wet or dry. But if we want a little bit of randomization. So if we go in here and we go to lit, buffer, roughness, we can see they all share the same roughness. They are all gray because on our material, the default roughness is going to be 0 0.5. If we plug our per instance random into roughness and we apply it, then it'll compile it with our changes. And if we go back to our visualization, now you can see some are gray, some are more white, some are more black. We have some random variation from this node. And we could visualize it even better if we drag this into our LERP. Remember, a LERP or linear interpolate takes a 0 to 1 value. Now, per instance, random gives us a 0 to 1 value. So if we apply that, of course, i got to hook it up. There we go. We're going to get a random value between 0 and 1, or a random color, basically, between our red and our blue. And we get this nice variation instead of one solid color or a change to everything in this material. Now remember, it only works on instanced items. So we have instance foliage in this case, or instant stack meshes. And we can get some random data every time that instance is created. And then we can do something with that instanced random data.